And we are broadcasting live. Welcome to Phil's First Party Parlay, where we talk all things timely and topical in the insurance restoration industry. I'm Phil Sanoff, trial lawyer with Morgan & Morgan Insurance Recovery Group. With Morgan & Morgan's Insurance Recovery Group, I have got 55 of the most awesome attorney colleagues you would ever want to know. We are in 25 offices, 13 states, all across the country. We can help you wherever you are. If you have any problem with any insurance claim, you need to come see us. You can reach us through our website, forthepeople.com, hit pound L-A-W from any cell phone anywhere, or just get me on my personal cell, 713-825-3444. Morgan & Morgan in Church Recovery Group, come see us. Joining us tonight on the show is my friend April Hall. April is the founder and president of Storm Consultants LLC and puts on live events helping folks in the insurance restoration industry. April, hit that magic button. Come back to see us, please. Hello, hey, hello. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You bet. You bet. I am always delighted to help you get word out about your events particularly because I'm typically speaking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so I appreciate getting the promo out. Well, great. Um, again, thanks for having me. So let's talk about, ask me some questions about the event. <laughs> All right. I've got to introduce you a little bit so that folks can get to know you a little better if they don't already. Um, by the way, as we roll in here, we've got some attendees here. And so I'll take breaks from time to time for the folks live that in the event that you have a question, you can type it in the Zoom chat and I'll bring it to April on breaks. In the event that you know how to hover your cursor over your name and do the electronic raise your hand, I can unmute you so you can ask your question to April live. So please attendees, feel free to participate. Uh, let me introduce you a little bit, April, for folks that are going to either see this on one of the repurposed channels or that you and I post for folks to know about your show. Uh, what I have come to know about April is that she was born and raised in the construction industry, comes by it real natural, grew up in a family uh, with a construction company building custom homes, yeah. then went into the construction industry herself uh, in, when she was in college, uh, just as a college student, was the majority owner of a construction company. Has really been focused for almost a decade on helping other contractors in the storm restoration industry and has been running educational and information programs since around 2011. That has evolved into Storm Restoration Consultants, SRC, uh, which are the events from which I know April and have spoken a few times at April's events in that nature. So April, before we get into talking about you know, I'm a trial lawyer. I believe in the magic of three, the power of three. So we always do things in threes. Uh, before we start talking about the three points that we're going to share for folks tonight, uh, I forgot to ask you about this. So I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Sorry. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about you? How did you get to have this heart of always putting on these shows and always educating and helping to keep folks informed that are in our industry? Well, I went back to several years ago when I started in 2011 for um, training events is before that I'd been working in the industry and with my business partner at the time, we saw a huge need for a standardized training for roofing contractors because there was no standardized training. It was pretty much, hey, ride with somebody in a vehicle, shadow them for a few days and there you go. There was no set training on anything. So we developed that and we came up with the first insurance restoration sales training uh, back in 2011. And that's all it was. It was just sales training. Um, but after, you know, DFW is big. There's lots of contractors here. And we just kind of figured, okay, well, this will be, you know, our target market. But after four months, there were contractors and even public adjusters flying in from other states. And so I started to scale the company and really um, 
just, you know, there were so many different needs in the industry. So I came up with the overhead and profit seminar and that one's been very successful in helping contractors across the nation uh, get paid overhead and profit consistently. Um, and then the IRC, which has now evolved to the SRC summit. And that was really just out of a need because there were so many different subjects. So every time I put on events, I always want to um, take the top things that contractors want to learn most about. And that's what we focus on. Well, I really enjoyed being at your events and sometimes I know a topic that I want to speak on. Sometimes, you know, a topic that mm -hmm. folks need to hear about and you suggest topics. So I've really appreciated the way that we've been able to work together and have me participate to help spread education and spread the word. It's exposure for me uh, to help folks as well. So I'm really grateful to you for the events that you put on. Well, thank you. I appreciate you be part of them as well. Um, we all need to stay up on top of our law knowledge. And that's a big thing of this industry is we don't want to get in hot water. So I'm really excited what you're going to be sharing next Thursday. And I'm sure we're going to talk about that here pretty quick. We'll talk a little bit about that. Right. So again, the way that I always believe in the magic of three, the three points that you and I figure we should cover for you this evening or with you this evening are one, uh, live events in general, why live events mm -hmm. and coming back together safely when we can. Uh, then the second point will be the event that you're doing on Thursday, July 30th, there in the colony, Texas. We'll talk more about the details on that. Mm -hmm. And then I believe we're going to be able to get into our third point with you is you're going to be putting on the SRC Summit. Yeah, again. Mm -hmm. I'm excited we'll about that. <laughs> We'll share some details about that two and a half day event. Fantastic, fantastic. So for folks, again, that are going to be, that are seeing this now, uh, for folks that, I'm sorry, I look away. I wanna see if there are any questions or anybody raising their hand over there. Uh, talk about the live events and what really drove you and speaks to you about waiting until it was safe and putting on as safe as possible during this uncertain time, this crazy time that we're in but but why a live event what what a, what what are you what's on your heart about the live events well live events um it's something that we've always been used to right in the past and conferences and seminars have been something for decades of course it was new, newer when i started to do them in the industry you now there's other you know people doing specific events that help contractors and i just think um you know, as far as bringing live events together, like I always get two things back from con contractor feedback is one, they always tell me that they had no clue that they were going to learn that much. They figured they could pick up, you know, a few nuggets here and there, but they always walk away with way more knowledge than they ever thought possible. The second part that they always say that um, they really, really love about going to the event is the networking and being able to meet like-minded people um, that, you know, are from other states or maybe, you know, um, even their neighbors or whatever, and getting to be friends with them and then meeting vendors and just networking and figuring out different things that are going to help them succeed in this industry. So I love bringing that together. And um, something like that's very hard to duplicate online. You know, the, the community, the connection that you get with people face to face. I have contractors that have been tending for years and they say that they've met some of their best friends at my events. Um, I even have contractors that um, they're competitors and they actually like live in the same town, the same market. And they start, they've been coming to my events since 2012. And so um, it's just something special that happens when you get to be in a live event and interact with people. Um, you know, you get to make friends that last, last a lifetime. Well, and I am on, I appreciate that, that video conferencing, we're on Zoom right now. There are different platforms for video conferences. Uh, I know the world has become one big video conference. I <laughs> Zoom all day, every day, but there really is. And so I'm grateful for that. But when, when we can do our distancing, folks that are comfortable wearing masks can wear masks. If you're not, you're not. Respect those that do. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> you know, that <laughs> exactly. That we see all day, every day. Mm -hmm. but, but on a Zoom conference, I can't step aside and, and really get contact with my old friends that I've seen at your events and other, other events as well. And, and while there are video conference has their place and, and I'm grateful for what we're able to do. 
there's nothing like getting everyone together in as safe a way as possible and, and having the time. I'm grateful to you for yeah. well, thanks. And yeah, of course we want to be as safe as we possibly can. And we're adhering by all the Texas state regulations and the conference room is set up for round tables and there's only so many people for that table and then they're six feet apart. So um, they have all the hand sanitizer. You have to wear a mask when you enter the building and it's optional when you get in the conference room. So um, everything is really set to where it's safe. And I'm excited to do this because I really think that contractors um, and attendees, they haven't seen each other for a long time and, and it's time they want to start seeing people again and, and get back to what we know as normal. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Well, let's step into that. Uh, our point two, um, the event, uh, Thursday, July 30th, uh, a half day event, 4 to 9 p.m. Talk about the location, talk about what you've got going on. Let's just get some information out there for folks. Yeah, I wanted to show you one thing that actually came in today. Let me grab them real quick. Great, great. This is pretty cool. So what I did is um, everybody has different levels of comfort, right? As far as in being in front of each other. So um, I figured, well, just to make people be a little bit more safe, because there's going to be some people who maybe don't want to shake your hand or they want to stay a little bit further back. So upon entering the event, we're going to have three different types of bracelets that you're gonna grab. Mm -hmm. Green kind of means like, you know what? I'm good with shaking hands. You can talk to me. Um, I'm not, you, I don't need to be 10 feet apart from you. I'm good, I'll shake your hand, right? I prefer That's that. That's brilliant, but, that is brilliant, yeah. Now we got yellow is cautious, right? I'll talk to you, but I wanna keep my distance. Um, I'm not gonna shake hands. Red is, you know what? I wanna stay by myself. I wanna be here, but um, please respect that. But I'm good. You know, I'm going to stay back. That so is don't brilliant. Don't shake my hand. So I want people to be safe. And I thought this was, I actually saw this, uh, a friend had put this for something. I was like, oh, that's going to be perfect for a live event because I want everybody to be Right. So. I've not seen that before, but I want to compliment you because a few of the times that I have seen people recently, um, I spoke recently at the Lubbock Area Roofing Contractor Association luncheon. Um, I met some friends. For dinner we did the social distance thing and it's it's somewhat uncomfortable i walk yeah. up to people people walk up to me and the first thing i always say is how do you want to be greeted here's how right. i'm comfortable being greeted but mm -hmm. with that you don't have to have that awkwardness yeah. you just and have my name on there storm, storm consultant so heard it here first right <laughs> brilliant brilliant i love that i love that uh I'm going to use that when I go to some other event. I'm going to suggest that, but I'll always give you credit. I'll always wear my <laughs> SRC bracelet. Well, okay. So yeah, I just thought that would be great to just you know implement here. I'll implement that at the SRC summit too. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, let's talk a little bit about. Uh, we'll talk about what the topic. I don't want to talk about the topic. I don't want to take your time. We'll talk about what I'm going to talk about in a second. But tell folks what they can expect uh, at this half day event that you're going to have. Yeah, I wanted to do, typically if I ever do a day event, it's for a full day, it's eight hours um, or longer. So this time I wanted to do a lot of great content and give a lot of value, but I didn't want it to take up, you know, a lot of people are working. Um, I wanted to do later in the day and move into more networking where people are just kind of more relaxed and, and want to hang out and network more. So, I mean, we're covering quite a few things. Um, I really love, I, I started the commercial panel last year because I have contractors that ask me all the time, they're like, April, I want to get into commercial. I want right. to learn how to do more commercial, um, you know, so it's a big thing. So Jonathan Sherwood's on it, Sam Struthers, uh, Nick Forsell, they do a lot of commercial jobs and they're really just going to go um, in the ins and outs and how to run a sustainable commercial uh, division and, you know, obtain those opportunities is what they're going to be talking about. And, and um, Jonathan puts out so much content oh, yeah. about here's what to expect for mm -hmm. getting into the commercial end of it. Uh, a real coup for you to get him to come and be on, on your panel. Mm -hmm. This is That's a really, really nice thing that he's going to be there. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. Um, the commercial panel is going over really well. This will be the third time that I've done it. Um, Business 411, Elizabeth's flying in from Florida. Um, she's excited to be here. She's going to be going over really some marketing techniques, but really how to build your book of business. Um, she works with a lot of roofing contractors nationwide and helps them with their social media, their marketing, and um, just the business, um, you know, practices and, um, you know, the way that you should be set up on a day-to-day -day basis so you can get the most out of your day and your, and your business. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do something that's motivational, uh, 
as you know, I'm sure you've heard of Crest Hustle, but Sam Struthers and, and Logan Graff, I asked them to do a special presentation on, you know, motivation. What motivates them? Um, what motivates their team? They've got an amazing company culture and all of the sales reps that I know personally, they love showing up um, and doing their job every day. And they boast about it on social media about how happy they are to be in the company. So I wanted them to share a little bit about that. Um, Steve Patrick, uh, I asked him to do a special presentation as well. Uh, we always get bombarded every single day if you're a contractor with adjuster objections, right? You know, you hear them and you're like, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Why would I not get paid for that? Like, oh, we'll, we'll pay OMP on everything but the roof. Well, we're going to yeah. answer those objections. Or it's not complex enough. Anything to do, whether it's OMP or just a general denial, Steve is doing a special presentation on all those top objections. He's going to answer them. So when attendees leave, they're armed with knowledge and not being able to be sitting there like, uh, what do I say, right? All right. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Steve and always brings it. Steve always brings he, it. He does. So I'm excited for that. And then, of course, we have the attorney and PA panel. Um, why didn't you tell us a little bit what you're going to talk about, Philip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, as Texas roofing <laughs> contractors know, uh, there's a new law, House Bill 2102, that makes it illegal to waive or absorb or otherwise assist a policyholder with their deductible. Um, the only way that roofing contractors are entitled to legally properly apply for the depreciation holdback money, the replacement cost value, is if they can show proof that the policyholder has paid the first dollars of the deductible. And so there are still some, there's still some uncertainty mm -hmm. about can I do this, can I do that? And so I'm going to, I spent a lot of time with the Texas Department of Insurance Commissioner. I've spent a lot of time with lawyers that, that helped write the bill, the, the lawyer, Steve Badger, who is really an in insurance industry guy, but, but really worked hard with RCAT, the Roofing Contractor Association of Texas, to get this bill passed. And so I just want to let folks know what they can do and what they can't do so that there is try to clear up some ambiguity about the intent of the law and uh, that was what i spoke on when i went to larca the lubbock area roofing contractor association luncheon two weeks ago um our cat has got me set up to go to each individual chapter month after month to their lunch and learns uh, i didn't know i was taking this on as a crusade but <laughs> i just want to help i just want to help Roofing contractors stay legal and make sure they understand what they can do and not do on the new deductible law. Well, I'm excited that you're talking about that because I get that too. And it's, um, they know it, but there's some, you know, gray area and they're not really sure and they, you know, I don't want anybody to get in trouble for not knowing what right. they should be doing. Right. So that's a lot of main reasons why I do these too, is the law part, as I mentioned before, is so big because you know, you could be doing day-to-day -day operations and not be following the law and all of a sudden you're in trouble because you don't know that it changed, right? So and, we like to stay on top of that. With these changes, there are criminal penalties mm -hmm. involved. Uh, before, there, was, there were regulations, but no enforcement provisions. And with the way it was rewritten, it now comes under the Texas Department of Insurance. There are enforcement provisions. And so they can be charged, they can be fined, and there could be real consequences if they don't follow, properly follow the spirit of the law, properly follow the letter of the law. And again, I'm not, I don't mean to take up your time this one to talk about it, but there, there's, it, there's a lot to unpack and there's a lot to, uh, to give bullet points for folks. And like you say, I hope to give them some actionable content. We'll stick around. Let's talk about the format. We're going to be sticking around to do some racing, some Q&A, some, some fellowship and networking to be able to talk about that after the brief presentation through the attorney PA panel for you as well. Yeah, and so this is gonna be a fun event. Like we just went over so much information of what we're gonna be going over. Um, Jack Hanks is also gonna be part of it. He's on the, he's a PA, so he's gonna be representing right. the PA. And that's gonna be good for you both to interact on that. Um, to you know really just show the audience um the differences and the route that you should go and what it involves so i think a lot of people need need to have um you know knowledge and clarification of which route they should go when they face um 
certain jobs, right? So yeah, it's going to be great. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's at the Andrade Racing Center in the Colony in Texas. Um, it's an amazing center. It actually opened up in March, so it's brand new. And then it got shut down due to COVID. So they're right. up and running again. Um, we are in the really cool uh, conference room. It's very nice. Right outdoors um, after the conference, we have like our own area by the bar section. It's just really classy. It's really pretty. It overlooks um, the other things that are going down below. There's bowling alleys. You can look over to the track. It's really, really cool. Um, and then racing. We are actually going to meet beforehand. Um, if anybody wanted to race, we have right. a limited number of spots. Um, we're going to meet at 2.30 that day. We're going to do some filming and a little promo, so it's going to be fun. So we'll be racing. Anybody who wants to do um, racing after the event is more than welcome, but dinner's included. Appetizers are included. There's another bar that's in our room if anybody wants to grab a drink, alcohol or non-alcoholic. Um, so yeah. it's really something for everybody, or it's going to be laid back. We're going to be hanging out afterwards and really just fellowshipping and networking because, you know, we haven't seen each other in, in months, right? That's it's right. Now, we don't have the functionality through the show to be able to post a link or anything of that nature. So tell folks how they can go find it to register those that haven't already done so. Okay, yeah, just go to the website. It's stormconsultantsllc.com. So S-T-O-R-M-C-O-N-S-U-L-T-A-N-T-S-L-L-C.com. And there's register buttons right there. Um, we are getting pretty full, though, so I really think that we're going to be sold out maybe two or three days before the event. Oh, that's right, because it is a little bit more limited with the safe spacing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's been going, like, registrations keep popping in and popping in, so good. people are ready to see each other, and it's filling up quick. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Well, if you have trouble finding it, anybody that sees this video when we're promoing it later, uh, I always give my cell number. I give it on every show, and so you've heard that before. Send me a note if you didn't get the website uh, that you need the registration, and I can text you or email you the link. That's that's easy enough for me to do once once you hit me up. Uh, we've got about six minutes left, April, um, on our time on the outside of it, and I know that we haven't gotten to point three yet. So now let's move into point three. Um, although I don't want to cut you off too quick. If there's anything else that you feel strongly we need to talk about the upcoming event, please do, and then just move right into your two and a half day, the SRC Summit that'll be coming up. Well, I think we're ready to move into SRC. Okay. Um, as long as everybody can get to the, the webpage, stormconsult.lc.com, all the information's on there with the speakers, location, everything that you need to know in the registration link. Right. Uh, but the, the SRC Summit, um, it's one of my favorites. It's an annual event. It's the Storm Restoration Contractor Summit. And it brings contractors in from all over the United States. It's a two and a half day event. And um, the first day is a vendor trade show. And then we have a welcome mixer. Um, this past year, I did something really fun uh, to kick off the event. Um, you know, 2020 is supposed to year, be the year of the Summer Olympics. Um, and then we had COVID, so everything's changed a little bit. But the thing was going for gold in your business. And so I did um, the first ever roofing Olympics. And I kind of modeled it as you know, a little bit like the Olympics, but with a roofing spin on it. So it was a lot of fun. We did um, ping pong, which is an Olympic sport. Um, we did golf, um, the longest drive. We did cornhole, which is not, but everybody likes to play that. Right, right. Um, yeah, and then we did um, some a ballistic soccer game, and then um, we did GAF sponsored the nail competition. So we had GAF shingles, and it was the fastest and most accurate to nail the square shingles. And so we did gold medal, gold medals, silver medals, and bronze medals. Um, and then we did cash prizes for the gold medal winner. So it was fun. Everybody liked it. It was a great icebreaker um, to kick off the event because typically in the past I would do the full day of speaking event, and then the, for the first time people would meet afterwards at the mixer. This time, everybody met each other in the beginning, and they loved it, so they knew each other from the rest of the event. So right. we're doing that again. We're going to kick it off on the – it's January 23rd through the 25th at okay. the Frisco Convention Center in Texas. Oh, so. nice, nice. Mm -hmm. this, that's the big announcement, right? I don't think yes. we've really heard that yet. I have not announced it yet, so this is the first time. All yep. right. Yeah, Frisco Convention Center is great. Um, the last time I was there, we did the 2014 summit there. Um, and they've remodeled it's it's perfect it's in a great location there's a lot of fun stuff to do around it so we'll kick it off on january 23rd saturday afternoon um, we'll have breakouts sunday and monday are the main event with all the speakers in 
we cover everything, all the top, you know, topics that contractors want to know, we answer at the SRC. Um, and those are really pulled by, you know, my staff, we figure out what people want to learn each year. And so that's what we deliver at the SRC. Um, this past year, we had over 30 speakers. Um, we'll probably have a little bit more this year and um, we cover everything. So it's a great event, lots of learning, uh, lots of networking and it's fun. Right. Oh, they're, they're so great. I've, I have been the last two or three years uh, mm -hmm. when I came to know about the SRC Summit. And a couple of times, I've just done a breakout on motivation, on mm -hmm. living your best life. And so it really just, there's so much variety of information that folks can help to become their best self in addition to the nuts and bolts technical roofing information. So it's really a wonderful, wonderful seminar. And goodness knows uh, those roofing Olympics were a hoot. That was, <laughs> that was uh, quite a lot of fun. See those guys really doing that, that the nailing events were amazing. Yeah. I like that one. It was fun to watch everybody. And then they really got into ping pong too. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the nailing had to be my favorite. I've got to say, I've never seen anything like that. So that was uh, <laughs> Well, good. I like to I like to change it up and do something new each year. So I'll be announcing some new stuff here pretty soon as well. Great, great. Well, if you want to come back on and do some announcements here, we'll have you back on anytime. I would love to. Well, April, we're getting to the point where I'm going to send us home, but uh, I am grateful to you for coming on here and helping us get this content to where we can put it out to people. Um, one more time, uh, let folks know the best way to get in touch with you, the best way to sign up for the, the networking event, whatever you want folks to know, please give us one more time before I take us home. Okay, well, you can go to the website. It's stormconsultantsllc.com. So S-T-O-R-M-C-O-N-S-U-L-T-A-N-T-S-L-L-C.com. Or you can call me direct and it's 469-416-6883. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, April, please compliment Andreas for me. If folks know you that see this later, they're going to know that, that Andreas was some kind of good boy. During the he last was. Day. He did a great job. <laughs> he deserves, you tell him Uncle Philip says he deserves whatever kind of prize that he's going to try to hit up mommy for. He deserves it. He earned it. It's going to uh, be ice cream. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Speaking my language. Well, thank you for coming on insurance recovery group for morgan and morgan presents phil's first party parlay show and uh i don't know that i'll see you before then uh but i'll see you when we're racing before <laughs> the network event starts next thursday july 30th and ready racing the colony texas come see us and be there april hall storm restoration contractors networking event you really need to be there we'll see you there all right. Thanks a lot, April. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye.